Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the Gen Loves Reviews and Ofra Metamorphosis Lip Set. As you stunners know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my juicy little jello shots, how you doing? I hope wherever you're at in the world, your day is going so good so far. I personally am having a marvelous day. It's so pretty outside. My grandma's here. She's out sitting on my patio. She can probably hear me. But no, I am wonderful and I'm really excited to try this out today. First of all, even though this isn't about the people behind it, I do have to say big congrats to Jen Loves Reviews. This is huge. She is a very sweet friend of mine. She's helped me through a lot of shit. But even though I love her to tits and back, it does not matter if you're my friend, my family, my fuck buddy. If you launch something and I review it, I will only be 100% honest. Nobody can escape the wrath of Nady's truth. So yeah, if this sucks, you'll be the first to know. But also, Ofra does have one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas, so I do kind of have high hopes for this, but we'll see. Also, so I am going to be giving out one full set away. The minute this launched, I ordered two of them, one to give away, one to review. I was like, congrats, babes, just ordered. And she's like, what the fuck? You're on the PR list. Apparently, it's been sitting in my PO box for weeks now. So I apologize for not reviewing this sooner. My bad. But because I now have three of them, I'm going to review this. I'm going to give one away. I'm going to post one on Poshmark. So to enter the giveaway, it's very simple. The only actual requirement is that you're subscribed to me here. And please stay subscribed. I love having you. There's a few other things that you don't have to do but the more things that you do, the more chances you have of winning. It's a worldwide giveaway. Make sure you're at least 18 or older or have your parents' consent. Good luck. I wish I could give everyone one of these, but we're not quite there yet. And they also sent me with a little butterfly. So cute. Oh, damn. That's kind of like a fan. Oh, and I am on their website right now. It says they're out of stock. They're doing another little pre-sale, so I don't know the price. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Okay, it looks like these are $50 for the set of three. Otherwise, they're 20 a piece, which to me, that is kind of high for a lipstick, but again, these four formulas are so fucking good. Ooh, I just spit. All right, I will attempt to read this without my glasses. The sexy lol card says this is the Metamorphosis Long Lasting Liquid Lip Set. Add a touch of this and a touch of that with this transforming trio of neutral liquid lipsticks that can be mixed with your other lip products to create the just right shades for you designed by beauty reviewer Jen Loves Reviews. We get Revive, which is a pale neutral with peach and pink undertones. And I remember in our videos, she said this is made with a white base, so it'll really do a great job at transforming forming colors. The middle one is Refine, which is a neutral mocha nude with mauve undertones. And then the last third one is Reimagine, a deep neutral mocha brown. I'm gonna be real with you, I would honestly wear these just as is. I'm assuming that you probably could because they are just normal liquid lipsticks, I think. And I really do like this idea. I personally have probably two or three hundred liquid lipsticks because I'm a makeup junkie. That's a nice way of saying makeup hoarder. But even with all of the shades that I have, sometimes I still can't find the exact shade that I want. And so I find myself mixing so many colors. So at the end of the video, if I don't announce what color I have on my lips, it's because it's like a conglomerate of 10 different shades. And so this bitch is very familiar with mixing liquids. And this time it's not on anybody else's body part either. And normally I do go into these reviews kind of blind as an average consumer, but I did make sure to watch Jen's launch review just to make sure that I use these correctly. And it seems pretty fail safe. You use the lightest one on anything you might want lightened up or toned down. You use the deeper one to make anything light darker and the middle one one. I'm not quite sure what we'll do with that one yet, but we'll try it. And my take on this was that it does kind of transform the weirdest shades that you can't really pull off into something that's wearable. So of course I picked the weirdest shades possible. They're not necessarily weird because I do honestly wear most of these frequently, but they are kind of out of the norm for most people. And I don't know that we'll use all of these, but like I have a few purples here. I have a gray. I have a really, really washed out pink. There's like a berry here, which, oh God, just realized how fucking ridiculous I must look. I'm keeping this in a roll of duct tape. Feel free to judge at this point, even I am. But then there's also some shades in here that to me are pretty normal. Like I have a nudie kind of brown. We have a bright orange, which I wear that a lot, but maybe we can kind of combine it with the deeper shades and see what it turns into. And then I do have a few glosses on here because I think it was Robert Welsh. I think it was him. I think I saw him or somebody tweet out that they put a green lip gloss over these and it looked so good. And the only kind of unique lip gloss that I have is from ColourPop. It's the Bretman Rock ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And now that I'm looking at it. It's really not that weird. I thought it was blue, but it just looks like, I think we know what it looks like. But then I also have my all-time favorite lip gloss here. This is the Pat McGrath, I don't know, something bloody. This just is so fucking stunning. It's everything I need in life. And so we'll just go, oh God, I forgot about this green thing. We are definitely going to try fucking with this today, but I just grabbed whatever I could. Maybe some of the lipsticks will turn out a little bit better, but also I'm not expecting a whole lot with some of these weird shades. But I just kind of want to have fun with this today because if we 
can determine whether or not the quality is good. That's the most important thing. Oh God, there's a bug. And I am filming a few videos today, so I'm probably not gonna do like a full look on camera today. In the end of the video, I'll probably come back with this lipstick on and do like a wear time test and see how it wears. Maybe it fades or wears funny. Because these are, I think, normal over lipsticks, I don't think they'll really affect the wear time that much, but we can still test it because you never know. And I think, why don't we do like lip swatches with this? Oh my God, my lips are gonna be so fucking sore today. But let's go ahead and swatch and not do a look with these bitches. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatch and time. <laughs> All right, so let's open up these bitches and see exactly what we're working with. The packaging is very nice, pretty sturdy. This shit looks really good. Let me give this a little bit of a spin. Oh, well, honey, take you around the block once or twice and... Ooh, it has a nice kind of like tapioca vanilla pudding snack pack smell. Very nice. And it's got a little baby doe foot. Not too big so it doesn't pick up too much product. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it so cute? Oh my god. Just looking at it. You can tell the formula is Banging. Oftentimes with these light nude shades, they're so patchy and streaky and just see-through, but oh, this is great, at least on my hand. Then we have Refine. Oh God, she's got a little bit of gloop right there. It's like mascara. Come on, focus. Oop, look at him. Let me put it back in and give it a stir and oh, it smells good again. And here we go. Oh, that's very nice too. And then we have Reimagine here. And I know that Jen really did work hard on getting the correct undertones and getting the pigmentation right and all that jizzy jazz. But the weird thing about liquid lipsticks and I guess really any lipstick in general is what you see right here isn't always what you get when you mix it with other things. Like you might not know that there's a lot of blue in a lipstick that doesn't look blue yet the blue comes out when you mix it with other things. And so I'm assuming that because these are kind of advertised as mix-ins they won't have any surprise undertones. Anyways let's go ahead and try these on the lips before I apply anything else and try to mix them in. All right first we'll start with the light and then we'll take it deep. I mean go in with the deep. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> this feels so good. Okay, I gotta stop talking so I can apply this. All right, so here we are with one coat on the lips. Oh my god. <laughs> I look so stupid. Anyways, it is the tiniest bit splotchy because I rub my lips together. I'm shit at applying things precisely. So let me go in with a second layer. Okay, there we go. This shit actually has really good coverage. And I feel like a lot of people probably could rock this color. I'm not included in that group, but some people could. But it feels very comfortable on the lips. It's one of those things where it doesn't feel like you have anything on. But because it is a matte formula, it does really accentuate any little wrinkles or bumps you have in your lips, so take note of that. What do you think? Mm, mm, mm. So next up we will do Refine. And this shade is definitely what I fuck with. It's like my lips, but a little bit deeper, so it gives like a dark vampy vibe. And here we go. Ah, oh, that formula just feels so good. It's like instantly nourishing and moisturizing. Kind of like how lip balm feels. Okay, I'm shutting up. Let's apply this. There we go. Because this is on the darker side, I really only needed one. Do I have some on my teeth? Yes, I do. Okay, so because this is so dark, I only needed one coat. It looks so good. It feels fantastical. And it really isn't accentuating the dryness of my lips as much as that light one is. But I feel like this in the middle of this would be so pretty. Shall I do it? Let's do our first little mixture. Okay, so here we go. Uh, oh god, that was a lot. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there we go. It kind of gave a nice little ombre effect. It almost made it look like I have lip liner on, which I love. I'm terrible at lip liner and making your lips look bigger. So if I can fake it somehow, I'm good with that. It's one of the only places I ever have to fake anything, if you know what I mean. So both of these together feel just as comfortable as if I had one layer on. I really feel like you could probably put like an inch of this on your lips and it wouldn't be uncomfortable. Last up, we have the deepest one, which is Reimagine. Mm, give me Hershey's lips. Here we go. Uh, oh God, there's still some on my teeth. All right, there she be. I think one application will do it. Once again, it's super comfortable on the lips. It feels great. It looks great. What do you think? Mm, mm. Mm. I really like it. And I think I want to try layering these on. So let me go in the middle with a little bit of refine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that added a little bit of brightness to it. Let me add a little bit of a revive. Okay. Mm. And this is what we're... Oh, God. 
There we go. This is what we're left with when all three of them are combined. I actually really like this color. I know these are supposed to be mixed in, but like this is like the perfect nude set. I really like it. Okay, so let's get into trying this with the more unique shades. I do also want to make note that this comes off very, very easily when you use a damp microfiber cloth. Most lipsticks do come off with this, but I really have to scrub them and it just seems to wipe away with this, which I'm not mad about because my lips don't feel like they're going to fall off onto my chest. The first shade that I want to try, which I don't have high hopes for, for is Carity's um, Matcha Gracias. I love this color so much on its own. I use it all the time just for eyeshadow, for lips, for literally anything. And I do mean anything. Here we go. It looks like I just gave a blowjob to a Christmas tree. Oh, do we want to lighten it up or deepen it? I think I want to deepen it. So let's go in with a little bit of Reimagine. Call Josh right there. Oh my God, it's starting to look like camouflage. Hey, I'll just rub this around and hope for the best. Oh, oh my. It turned it definitely a little bit Oh God. It's deeper. It's a little bit more mysterious and kind of sensual. I don't think I got to rub it around enough because it dried so fast, which that is my own fault because the green was kind of drying underneath it. So probably do this kind of with haste, but still it is definitely different, isn't it? I actually like it better now because it's a little bit more yellow too. I don't know. I think we're off to a good start though. It probably looks totally different in person than it looks on camera because I upped the saturation and so every little flaw shows up. But in person, it really does look good. Oh God, this carroty one is one that you have to scrub. Okay, my lips already feel like they're gonna die, so I'm gonna hydrate them with some KPS Hydrolux SPF 15 primer. Ah, uh, fuck yes. Now let's go in with a more wearable, but still kind of bold color for most people. This is the Gerard Cosmetics shade, um, I can't tell, Maneater? I just got this in, I'm so excited to try it. Oh, uh, that's pretty. Oh, it tastes good. I've never used one of these before, but it feels like a cross between a lipstick and a gloss. So I'm not sure if it'll dry down, which I don't mind because then we can really distribute this pigment and I don't have to worry about it drying down splotchily. Is that a word? Splotchily? Whatever. For this one though, I think I want to try maybe lightening it up a little. And I'll get right there and there. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's kind of turning it into a dusty, rosy kind of shade. Gonna take a little bit more. Ooh, now it's turning it pink. Well, shit, that's pretty too. It's weird that we started off with this and now we have this. I almost wish I'd went in with this one because now it's a little bit too light for me, but that's my own fault because I went in with a second coat, but I'm really glad we did. It took it from what most people would probably consider like a fall or winter color into something more springy. Ew, how about that? All right, let's move on. Buh, okay, I wanna try this purple. This is Hank and Henry's Lucid. I love this brand so much. It looks like it'd be a bullet lipstick, but it ain't. Mmm, so pretty. I want to make this a little bit deeper though, so, oh, I don't know how this is gonna look, but let's try Reimagine. I sat there, um, hmm. Oh my gosh. This is actually kind of a fun game because they're turning out nothing like how I thought they would, like in the best way possible. I thought that adding the brown would turn it kind of a weird shade, but this is actually really pretty. You really do have to be super quick when you apply this because your first lipstick is drying down and then the second coat on top of it starts drying down so you're really rushing. For normal people, it probably wouldn't be an issue, but if you're like me and you talk while you apply lipstick, it can be a challenge. But that's okay. The challenge is very worth it. I think this is so pretty. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. Just for shits, let me go in and apply a little bit of Revive to the center. Kind of tastes like popcorn. Ooh, ooh, that is a cool lip. It's like perfectly ombre -ed. See this, this purpley kind of bruisey shade? This is my everyday kind of vibe. I love it. And it's very comfortable. Even though I have three different lipsticks on, it still doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. Do I think that these are gonna transform an uncomfortable lipstick to a comfortable lipstick? Not necessarily, but when you use this with good products, you could probably go all day and still not really feel much. And when lips take a beating like mine do, I appreciate when I can't really feel them. Anyways, let's move on. Next, I'm gonna go with this bright, vibrant orange. This really isn't by any brand. It's a sample that I was sent. But I think we might try this with the middle shade just to see how how they play together and oh, do we want to try oh I don't know about that normally if I were to use one of these I'd probably use the lightest shade to make it more maybe salmony but I'm just really curious about this one we haven't really tried it out much so let's give it a try mm. Ooh. 
huh, it's kind of turning it a little bit more reddish. I actually really like it. I'm going in with it a little bit more though. There we go. Honestly, this is a very wearable shade that so many people could pull off. The edges are still really orange because I did a shitty job at blending. But if I blended it out like a normal human being, it would all be pretty much the same. And I love that color. It really did take a bright pop and bold ass color that not a lot of people would normally gravitate towards and turn it into something very wearable. Once again though, I do want to try to do the ombre lips. So I'm going to take a little bit of Revive and place it right in the center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so pretty too. Bah, honestly, ombre lips, they get me off. I never need another man. Just give me a few lipsticks and I'll be set for life. Oh God, that's very messy. So before I wipe it off, what do we think? Mm, yes. Yes. Kind of sad to wipe this off. Next, I'm gonna try another carroty. This is Primrose Hill. And it's not that this is an unattractive shade. It just kind of usually washes me out. But maybe if I can mix it with one of the deeper shades, it'll create something completely new. Ah, oh, yes, honey. Give me that Malibu pink. This has actually been sitting for a while. And so the color out here isn't what's actually in it. That's kind of gross. But I do want to try deepening it up with a little bit of refine. Mm-hmm. My God, I like that color so much more. So there it is with three little little drops of refine. I want to go in with some reimagine just to give it a really deep look. Like I would ever say no to anything deep. Huh. This time I'm going to blend it out with my fingers versus my lips so that it really distributes. I love that color. It's like my perfect nude. Hashtag send nudes. No, but this is like a very, very beautiful deep kind of mauve shade. And it started off as that. A shade that I typically would never reach for. But what's on my lips? I really like that. I mean, do I have shades that are this already? Yes, because makeup hoarder, but if you don't, you could transform so many of your lipsticks. Okay, I'm really starting to fall in love with these little shits. So far, I don't think any of these have looked odd. It's really fucking hard to go wrong. Like no matter which shade you use out of the three, your lipstick is gonna end up looking good. I'm sure there are combinations out there that could fuck your look up, but like we've tried some very unique shades and none of them have looked bad, I thought. As a younger Nady once said, I am pleased as a pickled nipple. I think one of the last solid colors that I want to try here is Color Pops. I don't know what this is. It's gray. And I don't know which color would go with this if I want to deepen it or lighten it. I mean, I personally love this the way that it is, but I could totally see how most people wouldn't. Let's try this with the lightest one. I don't know what this will turn into. Mm. Okay, so it definitely just turned it into a lighter version. Not that I mind. That's a really cool color too. Let's try a little bit of the deepest one on it. I'm kind of scared. Eh, mm. Oh my gosh. I love that too. Here's what we started off with. It's definitely different. Not like a huge change. Kind of more sexy and vampy. I like that. It is so fucking weird, but oh, what do you think? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. So I believe I said earlier that these probably won't turn an uncomfortable lipstick into something comfortable. Well, bitch, have I got news for you. These ColourPop lippies are kind of on the uncomfortable side. This is a satin lipstick from ColourPop, so it's not super drying, but they are notoriously dry, so I often top them with a lip gloss. But this combination together with the Ofra, it's actually really fucking comfortable. I can tell there's something on my lips, but I would probably forget about it in like two minutes. It's not quite as lightweight as Ofra on its own, but oh my God. God, it fucking helped. Shit, I'ma rub this stuff on my knees and on my elbows just to moisturize them. Use that shit as a face mask. But I do honestly believe that you could put an entire fucking bottle of that Ofra on your lips and you wouldn't feel it. So I guess maybe it would transform really uncomfortable lipsticks. But here is this shade so far. I think this might be maybe my favorite or my second favorite after that orangey color. I thought that mixing these with that cement kind of gray would turn this look into like ass, like total garbage, but... I really like it, which kind of makes me think that these are very fail safe. Let me try mixing these with a gloss and see what happens. This is the lightest gloss that I have, which we already determined looks like man juice. So why don't I try taking it over the deepest shade? Mm -hmm. Oh God, it's just turning into like blowjob lips. What do these tastes like? Grass. I know it's not the Ofra one. I think the flavors are combining and it tastes like a lawnmower blade in my mouth. But it does look really, really good. It kind of lightened it up. However, I do think the same exact thing would have happened with literally any other brown lipstick. Let me try going over this with a different gloss. This is Andy Candy's makeup in the shade Vintage. I love this stuff. Uh, <gasps> 
this is so pretty together. That is fucking beautiful. It is so damn comfy on the lips. It looks great. It's really not going all over my teeth. Everything seems to be staying in place. And just for fun, let's add a little bit of the lightness right in the middle. Oh, I guess by a little, I mean enough to cover my whole damn mouth. Okay, so if you're gonna use these with lip gloss, definitely use sparingly. But even if you do cake it on like I just did, it still looks so good. Like somehow it works out. Why can't relationships be like that? But here we are. I have two lipsticks and two lip glosses on my lips. And I think it looks really, really pretty. It's so comfortable. It's not really budging that much because they're so soft and moisturizing. It doesn't make your lip gloss feel sticky or gloopy. Mm, damn, I love that. Okay, let's try one last gloss. This is Pat McGrath's Bloodlust Gloss number two. And this is the kind of gloss that I'd normally put over this color. It is so fucking stunning. But I'm gonna apply this first and then add a little bit of that lipstick over it. Oh, there's cat air on my face. <laughs> Fuck, the cat isn't even in here. Okay, anyways, here we go. Uh, so this was my first time ever using the Gerard Cosmetics Supreme Lip Cream and it actually feels almost the exact same as this. Like they're both very, very pigmented but kind of oily feeling. Very similar feel, but I think with this one, I'm gonna try some Refine. Normally I would go in for that deep brown and make it super dark and bloody, but I have not really used this one this review, so let's try it. Well, that's lovely. It's very similar to the shade that we got when we used the Gerard Cosmetics one and really piled on that light shade. It did kind of go to a berry tone though, and I don't love berry tones, so let me see if I can indeed deepen this up. Mmm, oh, I like that. If you can't already tell, I typically gravitate towards the deeper, darker, more sensual colors, but whether or not you like the darker colors, the lighter colors, or the more neutral colors, Honestly, this trio could get you to any of those. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these off. I'm super impressed so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other reviews, come back with a look, and I will do a wear time test with these. So I will see you in just a second. All right, you sexy bitches. It's the end of the day and I'm ready to take this off. Also ignore that I have two different eye looks going on. It was a fun day. This lipstick does seem to be holding up pretty well. However, it's really accentuating every little crease and crevice in my lip, which is kind of to be expected with a matte lipstick. I kind of felt like it might be a little bit unfair if I pair another lipstick with this because what if that lipstick lasts longer than this? So I ended up going in with Refine and Revive and I think it looks really fucking good so far. Granted, I haven't been eating. I've just been drinking and talking. I do know for a fact that most Ofra lipsticks aren't really eat proof and I really can't imagine these being any different, but comfort wise, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips and it hasn't all day. I don't think it's even faded. Like nothing's on my teeth. It's not moving. It still is the slightest lightest bit tacky, but it's still really comfortable. Even if you don't use these to blend in with other lipsticks, I still think this is like the perfect nude trio. But then the fact that you're also able to blend these in with so many other lipsticks, that just puts the fuck and fuck yes. I really do like these and I am a little bit shocked because some of those colors that we paired these with, I don't know how they looked on camera, but in person, they ended up looking great. I don't really have many complaints about these other than the fact that they do accentuate the dryness of your lips if your lips are dry. So do I recommend these? Hell to the yes. Do I think they're worth the price? I really do. They end up being what, like $17 or $18 a piece? That's pretty good. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use these more. I'm gonna try putting them all over the body, see what colors I can change. So good job, Jen. Damn it, this was a great collaboration. You go, girl. I will definitely link you down below to my Poshmark in the giveaway. Good luck to everyone. But there you go, love bugs. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And if you'd like to support me, my channel, a little bit more, please feel free to join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash poplux. There you get access to videos a day early. You get special Patreon only content. There's lots of little gold nuggets over there. And best part, it's cheap and fun just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Stand up, stand up.